Okay, in this session, I'm going to demonstrate the technique of left heart catheterization using the Memphis Vist stimulator. So we already have obtained a femoral axis. Uh, left heart catheterization can be performed either from the radial artery or from the femoral artery. And we already have obtained a femoral axis, and we are about to take a wire up the femoral artery um, into the aorta and then into the uh, coronary sinus. So you advance the wire uh, into the aorta and then the catheter runs over the wire into the ascending aorta and then into the coronary sinus. In this case the wire has a tendency to go into the subclavian which does happen in, um, in routine practice, so it is a matter of redirecting the wire into the ascending uh, aorta and, and into the coronary sinus, and then you take the wire out. And then try and engage the catheter into the left coronary sinus, and we are now into the left coronary sinus, so it is a forward uh, movement of the catheter in order to get the uh, tip of the left uh, catheter which we are using is the Judkins left four catheter it is now sitting well within the left main stem and we do a test injection to confirm the position of the uh, tip of the catheter in the left main stem this suggests to me that it is not quite within the uh, left main stem so we readjust in order to get a better engagement in order to acquire better images so this essentially involves gentle tweaking of the catheter, pull it back so that it is not up against the left main uh, wall. Uh, and then we go on to take uh, images uh, to define coronary anatomy. So we will now go into the PA caudal view. Okay. And then we acquire. So initially you do fluoroscopy in order to ensure that um, the catheter has not moved and again this is something that we, that we encounter in daily practice the catheter has actually slipped out of the coronary ostium uh, so we re-engage back again and then we acquire the image in the PA caudal view so it is essential to look at the coronary artery in different angles so that we do not miss the uh, stenosis so we will now go into the PA cranial view And again, gentle test to ensure you are within the left main stem and then acquire the image. We will now move to the ario cranial view. And again, acquire. LAO cranial view. And acquire. and then a caudal, LAO caudal view. Excellent. So that gives us a, uh, pretty much a 360 degree view of the uh, entire left coronary system. Um, and we will now move on to the right coronary artery.